Hi friends, we we'll learn about this TTK Bootstrap check buttons. This is, there are different colors you can apply, all the eight type of colors, whatever you have used, you can apply that. And there are different classes also buttons, so you can use it as a target button. Here are two examples, we have used success and danger. And another one is a warning, but it is unchecked. The moment it is unchecked, you can see all remain same. Whereas when I am checking this, it takes the different, different colors. Similarly, let's close it and check all types of uh, check button classes or the styles whatever you can see here these are simple check buttons then buttons are used then these buttons are outlined means when they are unchecked the outline can be seen you can see here you just see these buttons but when they are checked the button and the outline button both are same another two types here where the rounded types you can it's are all toggle switches you can use it you can see here any toggle switch and similarly the square type toggle switch also we can use it so when i am ch changing it it all remains things remain same and these two types are uh, special types where it we can use it as switches and many applications we must have seen this so we'll learn all about this we'll start from here this is a blank window we have at the first line we have imported our bootstrap then the constants because we will be using the various uh, colors for that so then the window you have created our parent window my underscore w then the width and height we have specified here and now we'll add our check button so for adding that let's just first create a cb1 underscore v this is the variable we are creating so this will be connected to our check button now it's a boolean variable so because check button can have true or false so initially we are giving it value equal to true so this is the initial value we can change it to false also now let's start with our check button 1 cb1 equal to ttk dot check button now we can uh, we'll say variable now variable is our cb1 underscore v so this is the variable now the text We'll write some text along with that so we'll say success because this style what you are going to use is uh, success only so we are written the same text here for our understanding only on value wh when the uh, check button is checked what should be the value for that that let's say true and uh, off value because when it is unchecked what should be the value now we'll give false because it's a boolean variable we are using so true or false so this we have specified when it is unchecked set the value of cb1 underscore v that boolean variable to false if it is checked then set it to true so now let's give important one is boot style so out of the eight boot styles we'll assign one here boot style equal to let's give success because we have imported the constant here at the top so at this line 2 so we are directly we are writing the constant value here so that's all now let's place it on a grid cb cb1 dot grid row equal to 1 now this is the first element so column equal to 1 now pad x equal to 10 now pad y equal to 20 so we are not flushed with the left edge so we are given pad x as 10 and pad y from the top edge we are uh, took 20 so this is the one now similarly let's post uh, two more and copy this one let's uh, paste it here second one and one more will go paste it here so these values will change see we'll say it cb2 now see this is also two two now this let us place it to the right of the first one so column two same row column two now variable we are setting it to cb2 text is let's give another one so we'll say danger this is a text part so we need not be very particular about the case so on value off value let's keep same and the boot style let's keep danger so this is the red color one will come so this is over now let's come to the third one so this is sorry this should be three and this is three this below that sorry we'll say sorry here i will make it cv third check button this one also will make it third and column right of the second one so we'll put it three here now value is true so this variable will connect it to here cb3 text is 
something else let's say warning but this will keep the uh, keep it unchecked means we'll see by default this value will keep it unchecked so will make it false so this when you open the application this third one will find it at unchecked so here we'll say boot style is warning so that's all now let's run this and see where it is okay we are just running this see here it is so by default you see the third one is unchecked so this is the success one this is the danger one so we'll just if i am unchecking this then all the all our remains look same because the color is removed when i have checked it then it takes the success danger whatever the boot style i have given like that i can check this one also i can get this style we'll apply the styles to this so we'll get different types of buttons then uh, toggle buttons and all so we'll start with first now here sorry we'll plus we are adding a string to this and inside this we are saying tool button okay so now we got this so we'll copy this up to this point and add the same one to others also so here it is tool button here i am so now that uh, because we are getting going to get some buttons now let me let us run this and see here it is you can see this now it's become this check boxes have become check buttons virtually so i can click this anyone this is checked now i can uncheck it and once i move a mouse out of it then it remains gray or it is unchecked similarly this one also i can uncheck it now this is by default is checked so i can uh, sorry unchecked so i can check it when i move out it is remain checked so when it is checked this will be highlighting the color otherwise it will be gray out so let's just check it once again fine all three are checked now now let us add a outline type let's go for the outline this editor has added all these line breaks now here what i will say i will say outline so up to this point let me copy this and here outline okay i hope that one more is there so no sorry where is my cb2 cv3 is below that here so okay now let me just paste it here so three outlined one so let's see what the difference it is you just see the first two are checked so and the third one is unchecked when it is checked it's just same as a button one but if i'll uncheck this one you just see it's outlined these are unchecked so again i can keep it checked this one also i can keep it checked this one also i can keep it when i am unchecking this the only the outline is visible so the the color changes now let's use them as switches so we'll say that toggle switch so for that we'll set instead of outline we'll say round round and here we'll say toggle so now these are all will become our toggle switches rounded toggle now similarly one square is also there so let's use this we have copied that and pasting it here the third one also same thing we'll do we'll copy up select up to this and paste it now it is i am saving this let's run it so here it is now these are all toggle switches now you see the last one is by default it is uh, unchecked so it is now i can check it now this one also i am unchecking this i am so i can operate this like this as toggle and rounded toggle switches now we'll replace this round with a square so this round whatever we have written here square now here below that also this round will replace with now the third one let's replace this anyway there are eight different colors we have can apply uh, by on uh, based on our boot style so we are just experimenting with three next we'll move we'll apply all the types to all the styles so let's just save this and run now let's see how this this is now the square type so i can click this here it is i can uncheck this i will check this this is again checking this is checking so this is how the square type will work 
Now we'll apply all our types, different colors to all style of buttons, toggle, that outline, button, everything we'll, we'll use. So we'll, uh, as we know before also we had done, we'll create the for loop. So for that, before that also, we'll let's keep a variable CV. Now we are not, and this particular Boolean variable will apply to all our buttons. So TTK, uh, Boolean variable boolean var and value initial value let's keep it as true so this is one will apply to everything or to all the one now c column equal to zero so this will be incrementing it now let me just uh, this here i'll write the for loop for my style in now i am saying my underscore w is my parent window what are the style there are eight type of style and each one color so i'll get a list of styles so i am saying this i'll just comment write it here list of style these are eight eight different and all one by one will apply to all the types so for that let us just start with this one cb1 ttk check button now what we are saying text will we'll write some text first because uh, my style Okay, I have to change the width here because I may not able to accommodate everything here. So let me just before I forget, let me put it as 580 and height I am giving 250. You may ask how exactly I am getting. Okay, I have done some experiment because it is just layout only accommodating all the buttons. So I have arrived this is enough. So you may if you are using part of it, you may try two three times to get the exact what should be the width and height now variable now it is no more cb1 it is c underscore v fine now uh, i will come or sorry text already i have written so text is the variable one so it every time what text we are using that it will take it up so now the most important thing is boot style so boot style let me all this i'll remove on value of value i am removing so so i can space i can save now let me come to boot style boot style is here i will write the variable my style so rest everything i am just deleting uh, okay let me close this now come here cb1 grid where i am keeping row equal to let's say zero we'll start with zero column here i am giving the column value is equal equal to c then pad x i'll not give that much space i'll give three only and pad y i am giving 10 fine so now then i will say c equal to c plus 1 i will do c equal to c plus 1 now what i am actually doing is i am just writing a single line rest of the things i am removing for the timing before i add everything else so here you can see this much is my code only now inside the loop there will be eight check buttons because in one row it will be there so next one will be ne right of it like that it will continue so cb1 ttk check button text why it is so my style cv1 fine everything is okay here let's just run it one line of uh, check button should be visible now uh, comma somewhere i miss okay here i missed a comma here I am so fine let's just run this and see yeah you can see this one line of check buttons it's the normal check boxes whatever I can change it but everything will change because it all have a common variable okay I'll copy this and because four different four more different styles will use so I copied and paste it four times so okay I will adjust that uh, to uh, now one more I'll go for one more so okay now here what I will do I will give it here I am coming and last I am incrementing the my C value or the column value now this let me place all this okay now this is the second one so here I will say text my style variable here I will write the style part I will add up tool button so I'll say minus tool button okay one i have ready and this row i will go to the next row so i am giving one but before i forget let me just fix the rows first so i am each one will go in one 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 different next line next line row but column i am not increasing because at the end only i am increasing the column so in one loop vertically all will be displayed next loop it will be 
the right side of that will be displayed that is the sequence it will follow now here i will say one more after tool button the outline one so plus i will say here outline now i'll say tool button now fine now again i will create add this give now after outline let me go for rounded toggle round toggle now this is next one is the square toggle so plus square toggle that's all so now different rows are different now styles everything i have kept it separate different different styles so all the colors eight colors in total will be applied let me just say and at the end column is increasing and row are by default are taken at different rows let me just run it and see what yeah it has come up okay one thing i'll slightly give this gap i i can increase i can give the pav after the first one uh this i will give 15 so slightly gap i think that much i can accommodate it so from the top i have increased 5 so pad y i have increased let's see yeah okay you can see now it is totally adjusted within this window i can increase the height of the window and further i can give the gap you can see this all these types i have put it in one window for you to compare that which one you want to use note that this is the bottom one if i uncheck this fine this skips like that but the outline one gives the outline and because i have used a common variable so once I, any one of them i am using it's applying to all so i can just show you anything i can change this toggle or this square toggle also i can use it so these are all the different styles of check button in fact this is one of the useful widget which you can use it in your application you must have seen also being used now you may ask me that okay what is the state how i can integrate with the process checked or unchecked on check some event should happen in fact we all we have discussed with our check button tutorial when you are discussed about how to manage a check button how to take the value how to read the checked or unchecked all this we have discussed but if you have still have any doubt or none you can leave it in our comment section we'll come back again and this uh, that's the on we'll move to next wizards so i'll request you please Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And if you are facing any difficulties in your applications and all, put it in the comment section below. We'll we'll further explore it or modify the script. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.